Hello! Welcome in Gems, this is Sapphire and today we are going to be learning how you can make a custom outfit like I have here. Now this is without using the program a lot of people know or the website a lot of people know called Boost. That's where you download outfits but I'm going to show you how to draw or create your very own outfit out of pretty much the basic textures that you have offered in Vroid Studio. There are plenty of options here. You can make stuff work. It's a really great tool and as you can see this outfit that I'm wearing now I made this outfit with the base tool in Vroid Studio. So I am going to show you how to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing you do when you hop into Vroid Studio, choose the character that you wanted to work on or edit their clothes. You're going to go to Clothing Editor. So next, what you're going to want to do is choose a choose the basic mesh that will fit the outfit you're going to work with the best. So what I'm saying here is I chose this little pastel cute cloud goth aesthetic sweatshirt. You could also grab a bunch of references and sort of combine and try to come up with your own fashion. There's plenty of ways you could do that. Anyways, uh, so I went with just this for the tutorial and I thought it would be a cute outfit. So I chose the one piece long sleeve top. So you're going to want to match and choose whatever outfit you're doing to be match as closely as you possibly can with the base. So as you can see, you can have short sleeve, you can have long sleeve with the skirt tucked in, you can ha do pants version, you can do long coat. There are so many different options in here. I went with the one piece long sleeve because that was my closest option to having a baggy sweatshirt as well as a skirt. So try to put together that in your brain. It will be different for everybody depending on the outfit you're trying to make. Cool. So the next thing you want to do is go over to the texture box next to design. Go ahead and click on texture and it will bring you to the texture of your clothing. Now, as you know, in the clothing editor, you have the brush tool, you have the eraser tool, you have a blur tool, you have some other stuff over to the right, but we'll just focus on this bar right now. So if you're doing any sort of skirt, something that could be really helpful right now, I'm clicking bracket key, upper bracket and lower to make your brush bigger, lower bracket to make your brush smaller. So you can go ahead and click on the default image and go ahead and erase stuff. See how this makes a skirt shape. You can break, bring this as short as you want. You can do whatever you need to do. So keep in mind that one of the first things you're able to do when making your clothes is you can erase. So you can erase the texture directly off of the character. Look, we're already getting something pretty unique actually by doing that. And again, this is some other stuff too. If you, if you want it to be short, we already can get a really cute sort of like short aesthetic dress here. Check that out. And again, you can go ahead and edit and be careful with this because you might want to duplicate this layer right here. You can click right click and duplicate before you edit the original file so you don't mess it up. So that's something you quite possibly might want to do. All right, so then that's your eraser tool. And the next you have your brush tool. Your brush tool, you can go over here and you can select a color. If I want to color this in pink, now I can color the sleeve pink. And if you want to get the same color or use your eyedropper tool, you can pick up the color. And if you need to get out of the eyedropper, dropper tool this is a weird control click escape and it'll bring you back to your last tool used which mine was my brush tool and again now I can color in you have other stuff over here you have different types of brushes you can use you have the width of the brush you can change here and you have the opacity so if you're trying to get different pressure sort of applied you can go ahead and and turn down your opacity so again t check this out see if I want to do some of this blending to make the shirt be a little bit more blended together okay so that's pretty much all you need to know for working on your avatar. You could, if you'd like to use another art program like Paint Tool Sci Photoshop, you could right click on default image, export it, and save it onto your desktop or somewhere that will work for you and bring it into the other art program to edit it with something else if you want more tools at your disposal. However, for my outfit, I simply just use all the tools I have here in Vroid Studio. So now I'm going to shift into a speed paint so you can see how I made my outfit here that you see currently.
mine just as a little tip something that I realize is when you make a new outfit you should be able to go to your tops and scroll all the way down to the bottom and it should automatically save all the other stuff that you've had in the past so I just didn't rename it so it's one piece long sleeve this one which is the new one I just made and this is the one we literally just worked on for the quick understanding of the tools so don't be worried if you feel like it disappears go ahead and check that menu and you should find it now that I am done all we do is go to camera slash exporter you can go to export and then go ahead and click export over on the right side and then you should be able to bring it into 3t or VC face whichever thing you use to stream your avatar if you just happen to stumble upon this video and you have no idea what I'm talking about how to stream your character go to my up above I will drop a card how to be a vtuber thank you so much for watching if you need any help you can drop a comment down below you can add me on discord or you can join the community discord which will also be in the description. If you want to find me live, you can find me at twitch.tv slash sapphire, and I will see you on the next video. Have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye!